and I upload four times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Today I have a very special wig review for you. This is a collaboration with Mild Wild. Okay, and I will put all the information about the wig and also about Mild Wild down below. You can visit their website um, and their social medias, which they have right here, but I will also list those down below. This is their little booklet that came with the wig, and it's just like all the deets on it, the heat safe. It's a 13 by 6 lace front wig. It does have the sort of pre-plucked scalp situation. I will include all the clips of me getting this chick together after I'm done talking. But the first thing I want to talk about is the presentation of this wig because it's really amazing. It came in this beautiful box. Okay. There was a little drawer here and that held this information card. It also held which says a testing raw sample and some instructions. It held the wig caps in the the wig came in a plastic, but then it came in this bag. And in the box here on the top with the bag, um, it came this little um, mild wild necklace, which is super cute. And then also this real, mm, this real rose, which is such a beautiful touch. And it says, have a nice day on it. So I thought that that was amazing. I love this box. Okay, let's talk about this girl. Uh, this chick is long. She's in what they're calling a color number 10. It is a beautiful, sort of a cool toned, lighter brown. Definitely has sort of like an auburn-esque to it. Uh, she's going to be close to 30 inches long. Density is really nice. Density is realistic. It, this is a silky wig, though it could be definitely a multicultural option. She is going to have some flyaways. She is going to have some tangling. Um, it is lace front ear to ear. Oops, I got a little extra lace. And the scalp is customizable. I don't glue my wigs down, but you really would want to glue this down. If not, you're going to see the lifting in the front. I did arrange it in such a way that these pieces came down so you wouldn't necessarily see that. But if you did this, you would see it come up. So you could tack this down and then that would look just like your own hairline. Um, I don't glue wigs down, so that's not, and I don't really care if people see that, um, but I know other people do. You can arrange this wig in any way you wanted. I was going to do a middle part, but then I did like a slightly left-sided part, which was good. Let me show you the back. Oh yeah, she's super pretty. I like the movement. She does have lace in the back so that you can um, put her up. If you wanted to, I didn't cut that lace um, and I'm not putting her up. The wig cap is very large. It is a large wig cap. It comes with a lot of combs actually. I'll show the clips, but I believe it's two combs here, one here, another one here, and then a comb in the back. Um, it also comes with adjustable straps that you can take on or off. I do have the adjustable strap in. It clips right here, but you can take it off if you wanted to. For me, it helped pull down and lay the hair down, hairline a little bit flatter. Because like I said, it is fairly large. I'm getting a slight bit of shedding, not a ton. And I don't know if that's from me customizing the front of the lace or not. Luster is gorgeous. I didn't find her too shiny. I did give her a little bit of dry shampoo <coughs> just to give her a little bit of a grip. Uh, I really, really love this color. I think it is a very stunning color brown. And if you've been looking for a brown that isn't sort of that, you know, darker brown number fours or anything like that, I think that, that this would be a good option. It reminds me a lot of the Charisma wigs that I really enjoy. Um, the only thing is I do feel like the hairline on this is a, just a little bit more realistic and customizable um, and pre-plucked than the ones from Charisma. I usually cut the lace back because that's my preference, but I know if you were gluing it down, you would want a little bit more of that, you know, customizable lace part. Yeah, so far so good. I think it's so pretty. Look at that. The 
color to me is just really, really, really pretty. So if you were looking for this color brown, this could be a good choice for you. Again, I'll put all the information down below. And I want to thank Mild Wild for wanting to collaborate with me. And I really, really appreciate it. If you have this wig or any other wig from Mild Wild and you have some thoughts, please put that down below. If you, if there's another wig from this wig company that you would like me to review, also put that down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.